All right, what's up you guys? In this video, we're gonna talk about Beyond Bigger, Leaner, Stronger, the five-day workout routine to be specific. We're gonna go through day one, two, three, four, and five, all in this video. We're gonna talk about the progression model of Beyond Bigger, Leaner, Stronger, and basically everything you need to know about the workout routine. Just so you guys know, this is an intermediate to advanced lifter book. If you are a beginner, definitely don't follow this workout program. Check out his other book, in this series by Mike Matthews, uh, which is just called Bigger, Leaner, Stronger. I have plenty of videos going over that entire book and workout routine on my channel. So if you guys are a beginner, check that out. But without further ado, let's go ahead and start talking about Beyond Bigger, Leaner, Stronger. All right, so day one of Beyond Bigger, Leaner, Stronger is called Upper Body A. There's also Upper Body B and C for the remainder of the other five workouts. So I believe uh, Monday is Upper Body A. Uh, Wednesday is uh, B and then Friday is C. Now the book version, what's in the book is bench press, close grip bench press, uh, dumbbell side raises and tricep press downs, all for four sets, all for hard sets and uh, following their progression model. So for example, week one, you would do 10 reps at 70% of your one rep max for your compound lifts. So that includes your bench press and your close grip bench press. Now for accessories, there's, it follows the similar uh, progression scheme, um, but it's basically eight to 10 reps or 12 to or 10 to 12 reps um, and stuff like that. So definitely look at the book if you wanna learn more about the progression scheme for the accessory lifts. I go over the compound lift progression scheme at the end of this video. So check that out if you want to. But when I did uh, these workouts and I filmed them, I had a different version of the workout because one, I was either in my garage gym and I just didn't have the equipment. Uh, two, I was at the gym Oh, but uh, the the equipment wasn't there either, or it was being hogged by someone else. So um, my version in this video, or this day one part of this video, is the bench press. I, I was able to do that, but for the close grip bench press, I just did dips instead, and then um, dumbbell side raises I was able to do, and then I did tricep kickbacks instead of the tricep press down because all the cable machines were taken. So without further ado, let's go ahead and talk or go over my workouts. All right, so the first exercise of day one is the bench press. So I did four sets of uh, eight reps for 195 pounds for all four sets. So the reason why it's eight reps is because I'm on week two of the entire like macro cycle. So therefore, if it was week one, I would have done 10 reps with less weight. If it was week three, I would have done um, six reps with more weight, right? So I'm in week two, that means eight reps. Now, four sets of dips body weight only for eight reps. My triceps were fried because before I started this, like I haven't been doing using a lot of uh, my triceps in a lot of my workouts. So not, I, my dips suck. I, I, I don't know what else to say. My dips suck. Uh, four sets of shoulder raises right after. So 35 pounds times eight reps for all four sets. Now that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, once you get a little stronger, like you don't really do 20s anymore, usually in the 30 pound, 35 pound, 40 pound range for uh, shoulder raises. Now the next one, four sets of tricep kickbacks, 15 pounds times 12 reps for all four sets. Now here again, earlier I said my variation of this workout is different than what you find in the book. So are the reps. A lot of my gym was pretty like, like there was a lot of damn people in my gym. So I just kept it uh, kind of simple and safe. Also, I did a slow run afterwards for 20 minutes for two miles. Not in the book at all. I just, I like running. So I do that as my form of cardio. You might like the Stairmaster or something else. Now day two of Beyond Bigger, Leaner, Stronger is uh, they pull workout. Now let's look at the book version, the deadlift times four hard sets, the pull up, the one arm, dumbbell row and seated calf raises. Okay, now my version of day two is instead of deadlifts, I did sumo deadlifts. Instead of pull-ups, I did chin-ups and then everything else was the same. I didn't do calf raises. So now let's go ahead and go look at the actual workout. So for sumo deadlifts, I did four sets, eight reps with 315 pounds for all four sets. Now, if you haven't done deadlifts high, with a higher rep count, it sucks, it's brutal. For sure, when you do week one, 10 reps at 70% of your one rep max. Again, you guys, I'm gonna go over the progression scheme at the end of this video, but um, it, it just sucks. If, if you haven't done it before, you are very you're gonna be very winded. Like these four sets were super hard. And um, you do four sets of 10 reps or eight reps in week two or six reps in week three. 
and you go all the way down to uh, just your one rep max basically at the end of week 16 but you'll we'll talk about that a little later but definitely week two eight reps ten reps six reps any if you haven't done high rep deadlifts before they are really really hard all right so the next exercise was actually the chin-ups but i didn't actually like record myself doing them for some reason um, but I, I promise you i did them we did f after the chin-ups we did four sets of um, eight reps with 70 pounds for the one arm dumbbell row now this one's pretty hard i think um this one you can go pretty heavy on it's just my my elbow has been having some weird pain right around here so i just i just stayed at 70 pounds for eight reps um oh yeah i forgot i did actually record myself doing it i just wasn't sure if you guys wanted to see me do chin-ups so i did assisted chin-ups because i didn't film the actual uh reps on my actual set so i did them where my girlfriend was doing her one uh her assisted uh pull up so there you go you guys saw me do chin-ups i promise you i didn't skip on them but yeah chin-ups are right after sumo deadlifts and one arm dumbbell rows and then calf raises if you want to do them all right now let's talk about day three which is upper body b which is basically shoulders but um the book version is standing military press machine rear delt fly dumbbell curls and dumbbell side raises now i don't have any machines really in my garage gym this workout was done in my garage gym um, so my variation um, was i did do the standing military press um, but instead of the machine rear delt fly i did face pulls um, and then i did hammer curls and then i didn't do side raises because i just ran out of time we had to be somewhere and these guys were pressuring me to just damn do some damn spike ball which we had to play spike ball so let's go ahead and look at it all right so standing military press four sets of eight reps with 125 pounds for all four sets my friends are actually in here with me doing the shoulder uh upper body workout with me as well in my garage gym if you guys uh, haven't seen me in my garage gym i do have a garage gym i have plenty of review videos on my channel if you guys want to check that out of all the equipment uh, actually most of the equipment in my garage gym um, let me know in the comments down below if you have your own garage gym and if you guys like mine if you hate mine just let me know i don't care um, anyways force after that four sets of face pulls with 75 pounds um, now i also have this cable like a uh, setup on my uh, rogue rack uh, i have a video on that as well if you guys have a garage gym and are looking for some sort of cable system i have that on my channel as well that review video um, then we did four sets of hammer curls, so 35 pounds times eight reps for all four sets. Um, these are with the power blocks. Um, now, I did hammer curls because I think my forearms and my uh, brachialis, whatever this muscle is called, I can't think of it right now, radio brachialis, something like that. Uh, I think that needs more work so it can help with my pull-ups and my deadlifts and just all overall grip strength, I think. So I've been focusing a lot more on hammer curls more than uh, like just regular bicep curls, even though my biceps suck, but I'm working on that. And then we did like one hour of a quote unquote cardio, spike ball, great form of cardio if you guys have never played it. Um, you're moving around a lot, it's a lot of sprint-like movements. Um, so if you hate cardio and you just wanna have fun and you have a bunch of friends who wanna do spike ball, definitely try that out, it's a great form of cardio. Next is day four, which is which is the leg. So day four is legs. The book version of this is the barbell back squat um, for four sets. Everything is pretty much four sets. Then you get the leg press, the leg curl, lying or seated, and then the leg press calf raise. Okay. Now my variation, um, we did, it was in my garage gym, so I didn't have machines or anything or leg press. Was the back squats front squats instead of the leg press and romanian deadlifts with the dumbbells instead of leg curls and then no calf raises again because i suck all right so the barbell back squat we're doing four sets of squats for the first set i did 275 pounds for eight reps but it was super hard like i, I wasn't able to get one or two reps you're supposed to leave at least one to two reps left in the tank so for the remaining three sets i did uh 265 instead of 275 now that's how kind of how you're going to have to gauge your uh workouts if for the first couple of weeks so you know which weights you can use now my one rep max calculator said that 275 was what i should work with but in reality um that just shows that one rep max calculators aren't always like 100% accurate they're ne no calculator is ever 100% accurate so you kind of have to gauge for yourself which weight to use so this is uh 265 now instead and i did that it was still hard obviously but 
it wasn't as like I felt like I can get one to two more reps uh, after the eight reps whereas with 275 I didn't feel that way but um yeah so squats barbell back squat the, the traditional like best compound lift for your legs right now in my garage gym, I don't have a leg press, which is the next movement. So I did front squats instead, which um, for this, for front squats, I did 135 pounds for eight reps for all four sets. Now I haven't done the front squat, I don't think since like high school. So I was very un, like I, I was doing the elbows up version at first, but my wrists like have not bent that back in so long. So that hurt really, really bad. Like that was horrible. Um, I don't know how you guys do it. I guess just after so many years, my wrists haven't gone back that far. So I have to practice with that. And then right after front squats, we did four sets of dumbbell Romanian deadlifts with 70 pounds, eight reps, all four sets. Now, um, again, it was supposed to be the seated or lying uh, leg curl. Again, I don't have that machine in my garage gym. So sticking to the basics, Romanian deadlifts, dumbbell, you can use a barbell if you want. Um, I like these a lot. They work out my hamstrings really well. However, after like the third set of doing these, like you kind of get lazy, or at least I do with my lower back. So I kind of strain my lower back a little bit doing this. So just a, a quick tip, make sure to actually stay safe during remaining deadlifts, even if it's the last set. So now let's go ahead and talk about day five of Beyond Bigger, Leaner, Stronger, which is upper body workout C, the final workout of the five day split. So the book version is the incline barbell bench press, then the barbell bench press, then seated cable rows, and then barbell curls. Now my variation, again, uh, is incline barbell bench press, barbell bench press, seated cable row, and then instead of the barbell curl, I did the preacher curl. So let's go ahead and look at that. All right, so for the first exercise of day five, it's the incline bench press, so four sets. Um, for the first set, I did 185 pounds, but kind of like with the last workout with the squats, and so, uh, it, the first set felt really heavy, so I went down to 175 pounds for the remaining three sets. So again, you're gonna ha kind of have to gauge which weight works best for you in the given rep range based on the progression scheme, which we're gonna go over in a second. After the incline bench press, we do the flat barbell bench press. So I did uh, 195 pounds for the first three sets for eight reps. And then on the fourth set, my triceps just like gave out and I could only get five reps. So that happens, especially with Beyond Bigger, Leaner, Stronger, you just do a lot of pressing, which I think might be one of the cons of this program. Like you, like your triceps give out a lot because you're doing so much pressing. So maybe you could switch that out with something else that isn't so um, pressing dominant, like uh, dips or something else, instead of two barbell presses in a row. Now the next exercise was seated caber rows. As you see here, Pratt's pretty self-explanatory. And then after we did uh, four sets of preacher curls. So um, 25 pounds on the easy bar, bar, which I'm not sure what the weight is, uh, was too heavy for eight reps, like pretty much RP 10. So I did, uh, I reduced it by 10 pounds and did that. So that's pretty much it for day five. Let's go ahead and now and talk about the progression model. All right, so let's talk about Beyond Bigger, Leaner, Stronger, specifically the progression model, which includes two things, wave loading and weekly undulating periodization, okay? So as you can see, you can see the entire 16 week training program or block or macro cycle, whatever you wanna call it on the screen right now, okay? So let's go over weeks one through four really quick. So from week one, you do for week one, you're doing 10 reps at 70% of your one rep max. Week two, you're doing eight reps at 75% of your one rep max. And then week three, you're doing six reps at 80% of your one rep max. And then you're deloading on week four. So as you can see, each week that goes on in the training cycle, you inc or sorry, you reduce the reps and increase the weight. Okay, so let's talk about the reps part, um, reducing reps as the weeks go on. Okay, so that is called undulating periodization in a weekly fashion or weekly undulating periodization. You may have also heard of daily undulating periodization where, for example, on Monday, you would do 10 reps on uh, for squats on, on Wednesday, you would do eight reps. And then on Fridays, you would do six reps for squats as well. So some programs follow that. I've seen a lot of programs actually do DUP or daily undulating periodization and beyond bigger, leaner, stronger. It's a weekly undulating periodization model. So again, each week you are reducing reps and increasing the weight. 
increasing the weight part has to do with wave loading. After, we already went over what, weeks one through four. Now on week five, after you come back from the deload, instead of starting at 70% of your one rep max again, you're actually starting at 75% of your one rep max with eight reps, okay? So your week two weight that you did is what you're gonna be using for week five. So as you can see, each and every week after a deload, you're starting off with lower reps and heavier weights than you did in your past uh, before the past deload. I hope that makes sense. So you guys can take a look at the, the weeks on the screen at, right now. You can take a screenshot if you want. But basically, the gist of it is every week you are increasing the weight and decreasing the reps until you get to the point of week 16 or sorry, week 15, which is the strength week. I'm not gonna go over it too much in this video, but basically it's just like a one rep max test. So basically you get to the point, uh, which is what, uh, week 14 and 15. So you get the two reps at 90% of your one rep max. You can't really go, uh, you can't reduce reps any more than that. And that's really just your one rep max, which is why that's the strength week. But um, this is pretty much it in a nutshell, you guys. If you guys wanna learn more, definitely pick up the book. But this is a general overview of the progression model in Beyond Bigger, Leaner, Stronger. So yeah. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video, you guys. Thank you guys for watching the Beyond Bigger, Leaner, Stronger workout overview. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below. And if you like this video, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.